Hi there, my name is Lily Stecker. I'm a senior from Central High School. And this is my poem, Our Burning Bridge. Were we even close? Did the time we spend together amount to anything? Why does it feel like I'm a ghost, only needed when the boredom is sickening? Why did I spill out all of my trauma and get led to believe that you were there for me, but then treat me like a side piece or the other friend that you used for all her benefits but tossed once she was dry? See if I care that you never truly did, even when you said you were there, if I ever needed a friend. But the moment I started showing signs, the second you started to see the ever so real character traits of mine, you ran for the hills because you just didn't have time. I get that it's a lot, my quirky little performance, my fun and happy facade, but I am me, I am real, I am not just some manic pixie who teaches you how to be a teen and how to live out your childish and naive dreams. I get that I was just a thrill ride for second semester, being exclusively unstable for cutting off all my hair. I was fun for about a month, but now that's done and over with because I'm not cool and I'm not exciting to you anymore. Now you only see my flaws, don't feel like understanding my jokes, too tired to hang out, too busy for my antics or to listen to my hopes. Did I put all this effort into a bridge that you'll burn for fun? Because if I'm not intoxicating or exhilarating, you'll drop me and run, you'll throw me to the side because you've been giving me this side eye that makes me want to crash and burn like the bridge we were. I covered bombs with blankets, took the impact while also dealing with outside blasts. You were a glimpse into my past, a rehash of the cards I was dealt before, a mutual toxicity, leaving trails and hope empty. I was on your side and I thought we were close, but you were here for a good time, not a long time, and it made me the most anxious and uncomfortable with a friendship since a long, long time. You burned our bridge and the construction workers with it. The volunteers had to run for safety after you called for the rainfall. And now I have this impending fear that anyone new I let in will bulldoze the new connections. Not to mention how the worker shortage has caused mass delay in new construction. So thank you for the fun and unforgettable moments that are now held together in my camera roll because now I see that I don't have to put any energy into a one-way street that's now a crumbling bridge and a mental image of the friend that I once but no longer have. Thank you.